tonight, and our general manager has put together one heck of a card for this show. Hey, everybody, Michael Cole, Corey Graves, and... And me, Byron Saxton, are here tonight live. What happened? We couldn't get Booker tonight. We couldn't get a... Now, don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. Oh, I cannot wait. If you're facing off against Zack Ryder, a word of the wise about that. Be prepared for a flurry of aerial attacks, devastating kicks, and of course, this pass. It's Long Island IZ. You know it. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Shoulder up, still too fresh. Now watch the suplex. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. The WWE locker room better be ready to throw down with Zack Ryder's on the card. As the man himself likes to say, the Long Island IC is ready for a fight. 24-7, 365. Somebody wound him up, and he's off and running. Seth Rollins! Oh, what a super kick from the architect. I don't know if Ryder can bounce back from this. Seth Rollins is rolling now. He's got him covered. Zack Ryder's shown throughout his WWE career that anything's possible. And you can never say never, because being a WWE superstar... Uh, setting him up right where he wants him. Pulls the ripcorn. What a knee strike from the Kingslayer. Here's his mark. He's going for the pin. Two, three. Yes! Unreal performance. That match deserves another look. Here we go. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins. Big win here to start the show. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches, Jeez. and this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. Oh, oh man! Face crush 
finisher. She goes for the cover. All too easy for Natalia to escape. Gonna take a whole lot more. Boom, right in the button. Oh, what impact. Uh -oh. Not the oh, you gotta believe this one's over. Natalia looking a little bit surprised here. But you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in her Ouch. tank. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. Well, there's still plenty of match to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens, I don't envision this being the end of the road for her. Reversal by Alicia Fox. Oh, oh and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. <laughs> oh, man. and got the shoulder up. Leg drop! Queen of Hearts looking to finish things off. He's about to do so, Corey. If she can step, sharpshooter apply. Nice. Shut it down. You feel the effects of a move like that for days afterward. And you can put this singles match in the books. These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. Remember this? Here is your winner, Natalia. And that's the win to start off the night. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And guys, I'm pretty sure I can watch these women compete each and every week. Harsh impact. She goes for the cover. And there's the kick out. Gonna take more than that. Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. Going for the rock. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Set not for it. Shoulder 
her right to the midsection. She's oh. starting to feel it. We've certainly seen her withstand worse in the past, though. If oh. you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. How she responds to this is going to be very important moving forward. She simply can't. She goes for the cover. Gets the shoulder up before three. You never know. Drop down. A quick reversal by Bailey. I've made it quite clear how offensive I find Bailey's hugs, but I will admit the Bailey to belly suplex will take you right out of your boots. Looking defenseless right now. She's got to get back in the ring, Michael. We're looking at complete domination here. It's perfect that Bailey's big move, the Bailey to Bailey, shows just how precise and powerful Bailey can be. When the hugger plants the opposition with her twist on the classic suplex, it's all over. I remember when Bailey gave Nia Jax a super Bailey to Bailey off the middle rope in NXT, and when Bailey was on Team Raw, the 2016 Survivor Series, the Bailey to Bailey on Becky Lynch sealed the victory for her team. Hugs all around. Rough landing. Looks like she's starting to stumble a bit. Her opponent's clearly getting the best of her here. I really expected much more from her here tonight. I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment. Byron, one thing we learned very early on about Ember Moon is that she can open. She counters before it's too late. Splash! Massive. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. reinforce what Byron was saying about Ember Moon's NXT Women's Championship victory. What made it so impressive, in my opinion, is that she had cover, cover. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. It's going to take more than that to keep her down. Beautiful technique. Bailey with an easy kick out there. Going to take more than that. She is on fire. Bailey's looking to end it. Oh, the reversal by Bailey. She's starting to fight out. Got Whoa, impressive. You can see I never thought she'd break free from... Well, look at hammering away. Big stop to the midsection. Gonna do some serious damage. Uh-oh, listen. This one's not over yet. Boom! <laughs> Big spine buster. When she gets in attack mode, look out. This is going to be big one way or another. She's got her where she wants her. She doesn't want to get up. Look at this. Whoa. Unbelievable athleticism. Boom, land pack. Wow, fantastic ability from Ember Moon. Is it enough to end this match? She's got that gleam in her eyes. Ember Moon is getting ready. Oh man, she's rolling now. Oh, going to the top, high risk. Incoming. Oh, what a splash! She goes for the cover. Ember Moon with an easy kick out. Too soon. To do it. One, two, three, the pinfall and the victory. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. She's taking care of business. Here is your winner, Bailey. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the car unfold. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started.
Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up-and-comers and veterans alike. Sometimes with a six string on their back. Look, there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I just wish he'd take up something like making model airplanes instead of live musical performances, if those qualify as such.
Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. You've been questioning for weeks whether this team can get along, and, well, this is the moment of truth tonight. But they can't even decide who's going to start the match. How do you expect to win the match? Yeah, this doesn't look good. Match underway. Both legal men are in the ring. And set the start things off here. We're ready to go. And whichever team wins this match here tonight can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's oh. top teams. To the R. Hyper extends your elbow. Bam! What a slam! Superstars in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment. They must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum. Looking to lock it in here. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. In off the tag. Soon. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. 
I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Ooh. SmackDown Tag Team Champion for Crown at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the Finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champion. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring down, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Tag in. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, you're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Bray Wyatt and his sister Abigail are from a world of darkness, despair, and pain. And today, this man leads his followers in finding a purpose to a higher truth. Bray Wyatt will give someone the choice to follow him or suffer unspeakable human anguish. Oh, he's making a statement here with this attack. Drives his opponent down with a urinagi. Now he's got to capitalize. I think the only person who knows where Bray Wyatt came from. Uh, Bray Wyatt's sister Abigail delivered by Bray Wyatt. Incredible. His shoulders are down. Slam down hard. What a stop. Good grief. With the damage sustained by Wyatt, he could be on his way out. I wouldn't be surprised if he just passes out right here. And things look bleak right now. I don't know. I don't think he truly understood just how dangerous his opposition was heading into this match. Of course, he understands that now. But it might be too little or too late. Oh boy, he is rolling. Here he goes. And Rezar is really taking a pounding. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. I think this one's over. Oh, oh man. scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Look out, he's almost there. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Not much behind that pin attempt. Premature. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, 
Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. This is not where he wants to be at this point in his tag team match. I'm not sure he has much left. Guys, you can tell he's drained. Oh, what a slam! Planted him. Now it's time to capitalize. When this guy's on, look out. Twist of fate! That's how you put it. And this is going! One. And a kick out. The book hasn't quite closed on Akam yet. Oh my! Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Thunderous Russian leg sweep by Akam. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Let's take another look at these guys in action. Check this out. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Here are your winners, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. That is what I like to call a statement win, Michael. Yeah, you can bet they're going to be talking about this match for quite some time. If their love wasn't apparent during that entrance, the WWE Universe is firmly behind Finn Balor. Long distance drop. Tag made. Whips him across the ring. Dominating shoulder tackle.
team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch-up. Oh, nasty impact. The two out of three falls match, you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus as a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided to be two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a road kick rocked. Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss Cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. Finn Balor has competed around the world under several names, but why he chose his moniker in WWE speaks to who he is the most, Corey. That's right. Ripped out of the pages of Irish mythology, Finn McCool was a hero who battled the evil one-eyed demon king known as Balor. It's a story Finn always uses as a source of power. You gotta believe this one's over! Guys, there's more to Finn Balor's name than what Corey brought up. Finn's name is also a tribute to his dad, Finn, who taught his son what it meant to have tireless work ethic. Certainly paying tribute to your father and Demon Slayers is more fitting for Finn these days than, say, being called a prince or something. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He's a guy that can turn it on whenever he wants. Harsh impact. The WWE Universe has seen Kevin Owens carry a sense of entitlement while also playing the victim anytime things don't go his way. Look, I won't say Kevin Owens' reasoning for that behavior is right, but I also can't say it's wrong. Listen, Kevin Owens. Cannonball by KO! That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. To elaborate a little further on Kevin Owens being owed for past transgressions against him, KO is often the victim. And sometimes, to bring balance to WWE, he has to fight fire with fire. And that's all I'll say. Oh, hold on, hold on. Transgressions against him? Yes. Kevin Owens is always the one breaking the rules at every turn and suiting them to his favor, Corey. That's you. Comes up big with a reversal. Beautiful technique. Oh, team! Talk about devastation. Sami Zayn likes his chances here. do something quick. Finn Balor fought an injury to become Universal Champion. Now he needs to fight that hard again right now. Oh, what impact! Oh, right to the face! of these superstars in action. Here are your winners, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And that's a nice win for these two here tonight. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating.
Wow. Just wow. I'm speechless. What an amazing match. Matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoire, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Oh man, this is going to be great. Whoa, and a bit of a test of strength here. Ooh, what impact.
And whatever it is, it's going to hurt, and it's going to hurt bad. Take another look at these guys in action. He's getting after it here. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. And that's the win to start off the night. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started.